Edition. Live, local, late breaking. This is KMLD News 13 Now. Live. New at 6, milestones in planetary exploration may be hindered by NASA budget cuts with missions to Mars canceled and more. Yes, but that is not stopping a researcher at the University of Arizona from developing a first-of-its-kind robot to explore what lies beyond in a completely new way. Kilding is 13's Paige Hansen reports tonight. Despite NASA budget cuts, research being done right here at the University of Arizona on these planetary robots could help to make space exploration more cost-effective and scientifically successful. This may look and even sound like a toy tank. If you move the thumb backwards, it will move backwards. It even has a remote control. Okay, that's the one. But to better explore space, Professor Wolfgang Fink is creating robots, not toy tanks, that can explore planets without help from humans. These are self-sufficient. So science fiction is actually happening now. Professor Fink has developed retinal implants to help blind people see again. In that same line of technology, he'll help us all see the unseen in space. The key question, are we alone in the universe? That's uh, NASA's, uh, one of NASA's number one questions. For years, space exploration has depended on robots, but those robots in space have relied on cues from humans on Earth. To be more efficient and discover what we haven't before, Wolfgang is giving these robots more than just tough tires to endure rough conditions on planets like Mars. He's instilling a sense of curiosity, a superior intelligence that doesn't yet exist in robots. He compares them to the droids in Star Wars. Those are self-sufficient, fully autonomous robotic units which land on the planet and then scout out the area and they only report back when they find something of interest. But they're completely self-sufficient. Professor Fink says that within a year he'll be doing demonstrations with his prototypes for the space community. Reporting from the University of Arizona, I'm Paige Hansen, KLD News 13, live local late breaking.